the darkest moment of your life and how did you get out of it? I think my darkest time ever was, well, three years ago now, December 2017. Um, so about two years ago, I, I stayed at home alone for Christmas. And there were so many things going on in my life at that point. I was at a junction where I didn't really know what I was doing. I, my relationships, personal and uh, like professional, were kind of all over the place. I didn't really know what I wanted. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know where I stood with some people. And I stayed at home alone for Christmas and I, I just sobbed for like two or three days, almost solidly. Um, and that was the first time I ever felt really depressed, like actually depressed. There's all those moments where you're kind of in a funk or you're sad and you're like, am I depressed? No, I don't think so. But this is the first time where I'm like, man, I'm fucking miserable. I do not know what is going on. And that was, I said this was going to be a personal Q&A, so let's get into it a little bit. That was, that was the first time I ever truly thought about killing myself. That... Sitting at home at that point, I was like, would anyone even miss me? Would would it all just go away if I did this one thing? And I entertained that thought, not for very long, but as, when that came into my head, I kind of snapped out of it and I thought to myself, this is not normal for me. This is the first time that that ever actually, because everyone thinks morbid thoughts every now and then. There's a morbid curiosity in humans. We all have it. Like, what would happen if I drove off this like bridge or things like that but this is the first time that I actually actively entertained the thought and that that in in its in and of itself kind of snapped me out of it because I thought I I don't think like this this is not me I am not in my right mind right now and I had a really big long reflective period in like that week and I kind of just said to myself like what have I done what have I accomplished who who am I basically and what do I want to do next? And as I started writing these things down and really thinking on them and ruminating on them, I started to realize that things weren't as bad as I thought they were. Um, and this won't work for everybody. Um, and I highly suggest that if you have these types of thoughts and they linger and you're really struggling, I'd definitely recommend talking to people and seeking professional help. Um, I was lucky in the, in the fact that when I sat down and really thought about it, I realized that Things were not as bad as I thought they were. I had accomplished more than I was giving myself credit for. I had more stuff coming up that I could have potentially tapped into and really run with that I was really excited about. So, again, it didn't last that long, but that was the first time when I was like at my darkest, at my lowest, and I really didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and that's kind of where the PMA stuff sprung up from, that it, it just turned out to be a mentality where I was like, no, it just, it was like my mantra every day to be like, no, just try your best, keep going, you'll get through it, and things will work out. And it took a really long time, it didn't just happen, I didn't just go, oh, PMA, yay! It, it took about eight to nine months to really get back into a positive space. Um, so 2017 was like my worst year, and then 2018 was still pretty shit, but I tried to, oh, sorry, I tried to make the most out of it and, and work through it, and then 2019 got better, and now I'm in a much, much better place. Um, so any of you going through that kind of stuff, I, I relate, I, I get it, but please talk to somebody about it. I should have talked to somebody about it a lot sooner than when I felt it. So please talk to people, please seek out help.